today I'm opening up a $500 Funko Pop Mystery Box from the company Toy USA. So if you like those high roller, expensive, gambling type of mystery boxes, this is what you're going to want to see. But before you do that though, you know what we got to do in this channel? We got to do some appetizer boxes to start with. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style. You can buy Silver Age and Golden Age comics. Also on WhatNot, you can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app. What I have here are two Chrono Toys mystery boxes. They were, I think they were 20 bucks a piece. These are two leftover boxes from a previous video where there was five sealed mystery boxes in one shipping box. I did three in one video, and then here's the last two we're gonna do in this video. So the Chrono Toys, you're pretty much your guaranteed value. You have a possibility to get out like some semi cheaper grails worth 50 bucks, 60 bucks in that range. Um, but in these expect a lot of special edition overseas stickers and like child's collectible stickers stuff like that that's to be expected when you buy these mystery boxes because Chrono toys gets a lot of their pops from overseas distributors and uh, they can get some of the exclusive pops there instead of the u.s versions for much cheaper hence why they can do guaranteed value mystery boxes and give you more than what you paid here we go first one just to warm up this video first one we have popeye special edition sticker it's a 2018 pop, but then it has a second stamp for 2020. That's very odd. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but it has the original 2018, but then it's like double stamped with 2020. So it looks like this is an original 2018 pop for the US exclusive that was just sent out overseas and then was re-stamped for 2020. A little different. And looking at PPG value, wow, this thing's actually dropped. It says six dollars in value. It was worth twenty three. It just dropped six bucks. Now it's down to seventeen. So whenever this originally shipped out, it was actually over guaranteed value. But uh, prices fluctuate. It happens. And this will be sold in a future whatnot auction. Um, make sure you follow me on whatnot. Download the app for totally free. Search my name, Franchise Kicks, all one word. Make sure you follow me. And that's where you can buy all of my Funko Pop set now is in my live whatnot auctions. So first appetizer box, it was a fail. But when it first shipped out, it would have been kind of like a break even. W, kind of. Here we go, appetizer box number two. Then we'll get into the $500 box. This one's a heavier pop. Oh, we got Beetlejuice, that special edition sticker. I think in the US this was a box lunch exclusive, if I remember correctly. Beetlejuice with, with this sticker is coming in at $36. Originally it was a Walmart exclusive. Walmart stickers were $42, special editions were $36. So this is still way over what I paid for, so that is a win. I'll make sure to put this into a Sendbugs Pop Pop Shield Pop Protector before this ships out which is the official pop protector of the Franchise Kicks YouTube channel. Make sure you check out pop.com And here we go. Time for the big boy box. Let's talk about this. So this is the Toy USA $500 high roller mystery box of four pops. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Here are some of the big hits. You've got the Billy, like the bloody Billy from Saul, the SDCC, the metallic Deadpool. The Black Suit SDCC Superman. You've got the Cheerleader Deadpool, Freddy Flux, Freddy Funko as um as that clown from American Horror Story. I think it was called. Um, then you still got like the Scare Glow, the Vincent Vega, Elvira exclusives. There's some pretty decent hits available in this. It was limited to only 25 total boxes. Each box has four pops. Disclaimer. This is not a guaranteed value mystery box, which means you can lose money on this box. So since some people have to win, or some people have to lose for some people to win, probably the lowest value box, I'm guessing is probably gonna be about 350. So I'm just guesstimating, because they don't tell you what, what like the 
what the bottom box is, but it's probably gonna be around 350, I bet. So you could lose, I bet you, about 150 bucks in this box. Or you could possibly double your money. So this is all a game of chance. And with uh, them buying out older collections, some pops can have some minor shelf wear on them. So, you know, some minor flaws, but nothing's going to be like damaged. Because whenever Toy SA does a damaged mystery box, they sell it as a damaged box. And it is double boxed. And then the world famous Toy SA packing peanuts inside. Here we go, $500 box. Four pops per box. Try to see if one of these corners weighs more. Because usually, if there's a if there's a hard stack, a corner weighs a little bit more. I don't know. I can't really tell. It kind of feels like it's all about the same weight. So there might be a pop stack. There might not. There might be two pop stacks in here. You never know. Here we go. Hopefully, I open it up. I peel back, and I feel a hard stack. There is a hard stack in here. Let me make sure it's not one of those sealed ones from Target. With that, I don't want to show the camera. It is not. Okay. The lid kind of comes off of it, so it is not one of those Target art series that tricks us on out. So three of them are in soft protectors, and one is in a hard stack. Here we go. First pop soft protector. It says the Dark Crystal. We have Kira and Fizzgig Chase. I haven't watched the Dark Crystal since I was a kid. This is a 2016 pop. This is an older pop. It's probably pretty good value. You don't see this pop in stores anymore. It doesn't exist in store because it's probably long vaulted. Here we go, pop number two. The Rat Fink. This is the Glow in the Dark Rat Fink SDCC 2019. Remember when this first came out? This thing was like a hot pop. Everybody wanted it, especially the Glow in the Dark Rat Fink. I think they had a, a chrome also, didn't they? A chrome, maybe two chromes. A green chrome and a black chrome maybe, but this glow in the dark thing was hot for a while. Then it cooled off and I think it went down to like 30 bucks in value. Haven't had this for probably a good year plus, so I don't know what value on that thing's even doing these these days. Here we go. Last one in the soft protector. We have TJ from the plastic line, Fungo Shop exclusive from 2019. They now call these things fantastic plastics. Okay, one left. It is a hard stack. Hopefully something good. I'm guessing here, 30, maybe 50 on that, 80, maybe 30? I'm guessing, let's just say these three, maybe about 120. Let's go up a little bit, 120. This pop here, I'm guessing, maybe as much as maybe 250 bucks or more here we go you ready in three two one oh we got the elvira sweet oh and it actually it is the signed elvira elvira 1500 pieces and it is autographed yeah these released at the um what show was this spooky empire right something like like spooky empire con or something where she was actually there and she signed it for you if you want her to autograph it. And uh, that's freaking sweet. That's probably at least, I bet you probably about 250 or so. I actually already have this pop, this exact same pop in my collection that is autographed by her. So I don't need two of them. So this one will definitely be sold in a future whatnot auction. Let's go ahead, let's see some PPG value. First pop we got TJ. He's actually at $41 now. Pop number two, the Glow in the Dark Rat Fink. Also worth $42 now. And last one's off Protector, Kira and Fizzgig. The Chase, $46. Yep, the Chase, $46. Bucks. The common non-Chase is worth $34. Chase isn't really worth much more than what the non-Chase is. So first three pops, $91. So this one, it might be... At least 250. Spooky Empire 2018 
Cassandra Peterson, who plays Elvira, autographed orange dress, 1,500 pieces. And this one's coming in PPG value at $370. If it was unsigned, it's coming in at two six because at the Spooky Empire, you had your choice for her to sign it or, or not. Or I think there was actually a time frame too. She's only there for like an hour or something like that. So if it was unsigned, it's 260 Autograph PPG is $370. So that gives me a grand total of 461. So I still lost around 40 bucks in this box. I got a pretty nice hit though. And uh, this is a pretty popular pop, limited only 1,500 pieces, and it's signed by Elvira. So this will be one that'll be pretty easy to move. It won't take much effort to, to move this one. All these pops will be available in a future What Not Live auction. So make sure you follow me on there, and I'll see you next time. This video was brought to you by the What Not app. Download the free What Not app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style. You can buy Silver Rage and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. Also on Whatnot, you can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the Whatnot app today and participate in live auctions on the Whatnot app.